Nil down in the series, things once again were looking bleak for the Geordie Wonder Boy. Then. My lane. Ben Nevis. M I S S I S S I P P I. Uh, Paul. It's right! <laughs> Can he make it five in a row? Find out on Challenge Ant in half an hour. Well, run, run out the wind, because it's time for Challenge Ant. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Challenge Ant, not just any old Challenge Ant, it's a historic, and historic, shall I say, and historic? I should, shouldn't I? And historic yeah, yeah. Challenge Ant, because unprecedented Ant has won four in a row. Today he's going for his fifth win in a row. It's never been done before. Can he do it again today? Please welcome him. It's Ant McPartlin! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do that again! Oh. I love it! If I win, I'll do it again. Oh, oh. I want someone to win. Welcome, Ant, to Challenge Ant. Couldn't go and get the fuck yeah. with anyone picking up. Can I? You know Ted Rogers, are you? I know. Uh, welcome to Challenge <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Welcome uh, to Challenge Ant. Thanks. Four in a row, you got with your fifth today. Can you do it? Yeah, of course I can. With <laughs> yeah. a roll arm on. Uh, really? I'm on a roll, man. Oh, well, fantastic. Let's meet the man who's going to try and put a stop to that roll. It's nine year old Mr. Jack O'Reilly! <laughs> Sit yourself down now, Jack. You look to me like a man who was full of malice and intent there, the way you the way you strode on there. You look like you were up for it today. Are you up for it? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to try and persuade me a little bit harder here. Do you think you're the man to put a stop to Ant's win and run? Yes. Hey! 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 Now the whole nation is rooting you on, Jack. <laughs> Not from me, because I want to see that dance <laughs> for a long time. Let me tell you what we're playing for today. We're playing for the top ten games for the Dreamcast in the SMTV chart. For every question that gets wrong, you'll get a game at the end of the ten questions. You decide whether you want to gamble everyone's or four on a day start prize, which is this fabulous, terrific state of the games console. That's the start prize, but I must remind you, if Ant gets your killer question correct, like he has done the past four weeks in a row, then you will go home with absolutely nothing. Do you understand the rules? Yeah. You still want to play? Yeah. Now, I've got a little note here, Jack. It says, I have to ask you about your teacher, Miss Campbell. Tell me about Miss Campbell. What, what should I know about her? Um, she fancies you and, um... <laughs> she fancies me? Yeah. And, uh, she nice? Yeah. What are you doing after the show, do you know? I don't know. Well, hello, hello, Miss Campbell. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> She's not about 60, is she? No. Oh, good. Okay. Miss, hello, Miss Campbell. <laughs> 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 All right, then, that's it for now. And without the old EAP, please, are you ready? Yes. Best of luck to you. Let's Thank you. Uh, see if you can get five in a row. Good luck to you, Jack. Let's play today's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> Question number one for game number ten in the SMTV chart is uh, Sonic Shuffle. What is the name of the test that London black cabbies have to take? The knowledge. It's absolutely <laughs> Could this be his week? Question number two for game nine, NBA 2K. The character Laura from EastEnders has a famous dad. Who is he? Oh, Dennis Waterman. Oh! It's two now. Great questions, but Ant's equal to them. Question three for game eight, Sonic Adventure. How many minutes are there in each half of a rugby match? Ooh, I don't know, uh, 45? Uh, two more! Catch back in it. 40. And they only have uh, 10 minutes for half time, not 15 mm. like football. It's rubbish, rugby, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is rubbish. <laughs> Question four for game seven 18 Wheeler. What is the name of the newest character in Bob the Builder? Ah! Oh, it, it's his girlfriend or something, isn't it? The girl? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Scruffy the dog. Is it? Farmer Pickles has got himself a new dog. Scruffy is his name. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that, Ant. You're a big fan. Question five for game six, Jet Set Radio. 
Which club did Dwight York play before, before Manchester United? Aston Villa. Is absolutely right! 3 2. Aston Villa play Newcastle United, are they? Good luck, boys. Question six for game five. Uh, Newcastle is not Aston Villa. <laughs> Question six for game five. Virtue or tennis? What was Ronan Keating's last UK number one single? Oh, um. Roller coaster. Life is a roller coaster. It's absolutely oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a double tinker because you sung it. Yeah, I know. That's very good. You didn't sing it in the style of Ronan, though. Can you do it in the style of Ronan? Uh, Left is a roller. <laughs> no, I can't really. I can't, can you, you can't, can't you? No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> Question seven for game four. <laughs> Metropolis Street Racer. What is the name of Bart Simpson's school principal? Skinner! <laughs> is that full of me? Seymour Skinner, question eight for game three, Sonic Adventure 2. Who was Henry VIII's first wife? Oh, um, the first one. Anne Boleyn? No! Yeah. Catherine, Catherine of Aragon. And he divorced her, didn't chop her head off. Question nine for game two, Crazy Taxi. In 1966, a Jules Rimet World Cup trophy was stolen but found by a dog. What was the name of the dog? Oh! Um, Pickles. Is it? Get out! It! Six three. Pickles the dog. He became a hero after that, and it says here on my card he went on to star in the film The Spy with the Cold Nose. <laughs> oh, never. Don't know if that's true. That might be just Timmy trying to wind me up. <laughs> Question ten. A game number one in the SMTV chart. Uh, Ninety minutes. Sega Championship Football. What is the name of Robbie Williams' autobiography? Uh, oh, it's two words, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh. 6-4! It's somebody, someday. That's At the end it. of that, it's 6-4. Give them both a big hand, everybody. Yeah. So, there you are. There you are, Jack. Four games there. You can have them, you can take them home. They're yours to keep. Or you can gamble them now for the six that Ant's won off you and the game's console. However, if he does get one of your questions right, like he's got six of them right already, he'll go home with absolutely nothing. I'll have to take the prizes off you. I'll offer them to the folks at home. It's a big decision to make. It is a gamble, but it's your gamble. What do you think you should do, everybody? Gamble! 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 Well, Jack, everybody thinks you should gamble. Your family are shouting gamble at you. It's your decision, though. What do you want to do? I'm going to gamble. He's going to gamble! You join us at a genuinely tense moment here in the <laughs> SMTV studio. Uh, it's been 6-4. Jack has uh, won four of the games. Ant's took six off him. He's going to gamble the four that he's won for the six that Ant won. Ant has won the last four games in a row. Could this be the fifth in a row, or will Jack put a stop to that winning run? Let's find out. Can we have today's... Oh, I'm proper tense, me, like... <laughs> <laughs> Can we have today's killer question, please? What is the capital of Australia? Oh, um, uh, it's, um, oh, come uh, Oh! What? Yeah. Uh, hang on, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It was right on the buzzer. I have to go over to the adjudicator. Would could, will you give, will you give me a, a, a pfft, or a ting whether he won it or lost it? It's a ting! <laughs> But I have to oh. take those prizes away. It's the, the adjudicator's word is final here on Challenge Ant. Um, I have to offer these prizes to you, the folks at home, if you want to win today's prizes. You just ring in with the answer to this question. Who appeared as a neighbour on Chums last week? Was it A, Finn from Hollyoaks? Was it B, Betty from EastEnders? Or was it C, Ashley from Coronation? If you think you know, give us a call 0901 or calls cost 30 pence. Get permission before you call. Commiserations, Jack. It was, hey. really was on the button there. But you don't go empty handed. You do have your challenge on handkerchief. There you are. Take care of it. Give him a big hand, Jack O'Reilly, everybody! <laughs> I'm over the moon. Oh, he's won five in a row. Is there any stopping this fella? We'll find out next week. Woo! Don't miss today's chums, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes for Wonky Donkey. Oh, it's brilliant! Oh. Oh.
Welcome to Challenge Ant, where it's a big, big week. He's won five in a row. Let's bring him on. It's Mr. Ant McBartley! They didn't notice. They didn't notice. Yeah, seamless. Seamless. How are you? Oh, all right. Five in a row. Oh, can I'm elated, to death. In a word, can you make it six? Yes. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's meet who he's up against this week. It's 12 year old Chloe Oliver! <laughs> Let's have a set of the questions. Come in and sit yourself down and welcome to the challenge. And how are you feeling this morning? Confident. Confident, she's mm. he's, won, he's won five in a row. Are you the lady to put a stop to his win and run? Yeah. Oh, let me tell you what we're playing for this one. We've got the top ten DVDs and the SMTV chart. Every question that gets wrong, you'll get a DVD at the end of the ten questions. You decide whether you want to gamble everything on so far. On an A-star prize, which is this awesome state-of-the-art DVD player. <laughs> That's courtesy of our friends at Warner Home Video. Now then, if Ant gets your killer question correct, you'll go home with absolutely nothing. I'll offer the presents to the people at home. Do you, do you still understand? Yep. Do you want to play? Yeah. Best of luck to you, Chloe. Let's see if you can stop his win and run. Good luck to you, Ant. Six in a row, I reckon. Oh, well, let's find out. Whip out the old day. I will. Song, please, and let's get ready to play today's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> question number one this morning is for DVD 10, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. What was Step's first ever single? Oh, er... Uh... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. It's right, this one now. <laughs> Question Shouldn't really two. know that one, but yeah. Question two for DVD nine, Wild Wild West. What do the wizards in Harry Potter call humans? Muggles. It's a <laughs> Two nil. Uh, question number three for DVD eight, three to tango. In Coronation Street, who is the guy out with Tyrone? Tyrone. Um, not a clue. <laughs> Two one. <laughs> it's Fizz. Fizz, Fizz it? plays, played by Jenny McAlpine. One of the tweeners, isn't it? <laughs> Question four. <laughs> Question four for DVD seven, Space Cowboys. Which other female stars alongside Catherine Zeta-Jones in the film America's Sweet? Julia Roberts. <laughs> oh, look, 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 it's three one. No, get me. <laughs> <laughs> Question five for DVD six, Pay It Forward. Who is the lead singer of Limp Biscuit? Fred Durst. It's right! Oh, and the things just keep on coming! <laughs> Question number six for DVD five. What women want? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> in, in which film does Mariah Carey make her m movie debut? Uh, oh, Glitter. Is that <laughs> Hot. Question seven for DVD four, best in show. What is seven times eight? You can always stump them <laughs> on simple mathematics. <laughs> Question eight for DVD three, Friends Series Seven box set. Who has recently died in Hollyoaks? Um, oh, him with the blonde hair. Fe uh, not Fee, not him, he's not dead. <laughs> he's just leaving. <laughs> Bye. What's he called? Three. It uh, was uh, Lewis. Lewis, that was it. Lewis, played by Ben Hall. Question nine for DVD two. I can't pick it up. The Dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, I'll no, slap your dish. <laughs> <laughs> Who's West Ham's new manager this season? Glenn Roder. Is absolutely right! 6-3, ex Newcastle United player. Question 10 for DVD 1 in the SMTV chart. Miss Congeniality. What is the title of Cher's new single? Um, um, yeah, it's got love in it somewhere. Uh, and it, no. 6-4! Oh. The music's no good without you. Man, it hasn't got love in it. Love. <laughs> now, this week, at the end of that, Look it's love. six four. Now, Chloe, it's a big decision here. You've won four of the DVDs, including the Friends box set. There, you can have them. You can take them away with. They're, they're yours to have. You can keep them, 
or you can gamble them for these other lot and the DVD player. It's a big decision because if he gets the question uh, right, he'll go home with nothing. Just as he has over the last five weeks, he's got the killer question right. Ooh. If he does it again, he'll go home with nothing. It's a big decision. What do you think she should do, everybody? Gamble! 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 gamble. gamble. Well, they're all saying gamble. Your family say gamble, but what do you want to do, Chloe? I want to gamble. She's going to gamble! She's going for the killer question! Yeah, join us at Never a Tense Moment here in the SMTV studio. Chloe Oliver has won four of the ten DVDs. She has gambled them for the other six and the DVD player. Good luck, Chloe. Let's hope you can put a stop to this winning streak. Nervous, aren't you? <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> stop it, you. <clears throat> Good luck to you. Thanks. Five in a row. Let's see if you can make it. Six. Can we have today's killer question, please? What is the name of the little yellow bird in, the, in Snoopy? In Snoopy? Peanuts. What was it? What was it, it called? Was, uh, Woodstock. Woodstock, that was it. Not peanuts. <laughs> Never mind, have a challenge and hanky. No, oh, shut up. Don't miss Silla Black in this morning's edition of Chums. We'll see you in a couple of minutes for Wonky Donkey. <laughs> Welcome to Challenge Chris. Yes, indeed, it's the part of the show where one of you lot out there get the chance to prove that Chris Evans really is a dopey dunce. You know the rules. You've got ten questions and ten prizes. And then you've got the chance to gamble them all on your killer question and perhaps win our fantastic star prize. But you're not out there, there, know the rules. So let's meet the man himself. It's the one, the only, Christopher Evans! <laughs> Take a seat there, please, Chris. Thank you, Kurt. Uh, how do you feel this morning? I feel OK. I've been studying ants. I've been watching them week in, week out for mm -hmm. the last couple of years. And now, because I've studied his, his technique, I know definitely, definitely how not to do it. Absolutely. It's a very smart move indeed, because Ant is, in fact, trailing terribly behind the kids at the moment. So I just want to say one thing, though. I just want to say one thing. What? Because Because uh, Ant's normally 20 years older than the contestants. Yes. OK? And I'm 20 years older than him. I'm considering a one-point achievement in this quiz a win. <laughs> so I'm looking for one to win. That's all I'm looking for, just the one. Evans, don't push me. Roger. Roger. I'm behind this desk. OK, now let's meet our contender. It's Miss Jade Langley from London. <laughs> Of your question. Yeah. Stop fraternising. Right. A copy of your questions, please. Now then, um, Chris. Sorry. Um, I'd like you to remove your earpiece, please. Okay, earpiece. So is there's gone. no cheating earpiece involved. There's no we don't want any cheating. Here. What about the walkie-talkie in your hand, mate? This is for in case my dog starts crying no, at home. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Sorry. Kay. Anything else? No, nothing. Nothing else? No. Nothing else at all? Okay. All right. <laughs> It's not mine, I just borrowed it, okay? I'm sorry. Right, sorry. anything else? Okay, well, this is sort of something I made at home, okay? No, anything else? Uh, uh, look, it cost me a fortune, all right? Put it down! I just want the one point, give Don't me one point. Don't push me, Evans. Okay, sorry. Don't push me, okay? We've got the earpiece now. Now, Jay, do you understand? You've got ten questions, and um, you can win ten prizes, and then you've got the chance to gamble them all for this. It's a fantastic PlayStation! <laughs> So then, Jade, are you ready? Yep. Let's play Challenge Ants. Chris. <laughs> OK, our first game here is International Track and Field 2. Jade. Which Mr Man character is in the shape of a cloud? Mr Cloudy. <laughs> it must be Mr Cloudy. Calling Mr Daydream. Right. Roger Hargreaves. He said so, all right, yes. OK. okay. 
Okay, next game, Vigilante 8, Second Offence. Spell Conspiracy. C-O-N-S-P-I-R-A-C-Y. Get in there! Absolutely correct. Get in there! That's, that's just an easy one. Jade was giving I you that. I consider one a win. I've won. No, she's just <laughs> lulling you into Going a full sense one. of security. Next up, Tony Hawk's Skateboarding. In Dexter's laboratory, what is the name of Dexter's sister? Barbara. <laughs> Sister's name? Dee Dee! All right, you're not playing though, are you? Dee Dee! When you're at my age, you won't know any of this. There you go. I'm 112. <laughs> Sorry. Look it. Next up, oh, my pro maniacs. Jade, kick him while he's down. Kick him! What is the name of Westlife's first song? Well, obviously, I've got them all. Um, I don't know, from a man to a man. <laughs> Persuasion, it's the single and it's swear it again. Okay, so there you go. One to Jade, another one to Jade. There we go. Next one ISS Pro Revolution. In EastEnders, what's the name of Barry's father? Oh, Frank. <laughs> no. Four to Jade, it was Roy Evans. Oh, Roy, he got Roy? pushed over on Thursday Roy night. Roy Evans, I there know you that. Go. Next one. <laughs> Fisherman's Bait 2. Same name as my father. Is it? Well, no, Evans. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let's carry on. I'm not uh, thick. I'm not thick. Next up is Fisherman's Bait 2. Big old bat. <laughs> How many people are on a netball team? <laughs> Ooh. Seven. Yeah. That was a lucky guess. Oh, oh, no. I know my netball. Oh, no. Two to Chris. <laughs> Next up, Toy Story 2. I can't believe we've got two. I'm so happy. Yeah, two. Where was Dennis Burkamp born? Holland. Ne what do you mean? Amsterdam, then? Absolutely. Get in there. Correct. <laughs> Sorry, I told you. I told you I'd be tough. I can't I believe I've got three. Bitter. Next one. OK. Jedi Power Battles. Jade. <laughs> in Coronation Street, what is Sarah Louise's baby called? An hey, eagle baby. <laughs> <laughs> Term, but her actual name is Bethany. And did you know that? Yes. You did not know I that. I did know that. Okay. Did I know that, kids? No. Yeah! They'll do anything for sweets. And next up, <laughs> we've got Alundra 2. Which footballers from Arsenal football team played for England in Euro 2000? None of them, obviously. <laughs> Nobody played for England in Euro 2000. Um, uh, Martin Keown and. <laughs> Was that the right answer? David Seymour and Tony Adams. OK. There you go. For last question. <laughs> this is... <laughs> You're doing as bad as the England team themselves, aren't you? Well, uh, ah. Yeah, but I didn't have a lead to start off with, did I? Oh, well. That I blew. OK. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got Colin McRae Rally. Go on, Colin. Which members of Boyzone have not released solo material? Well, obviously, um, well, Stephen has and uh, Ronan has. And... We didn't ask who had. Yeah, but I don't know who has. I don't who know who has. OK, I don't know. We didn't ask who had. It's obviously Shane and Keith. Obviously. There you go. I'm so not there sick. we go. Chris got three. Evans has three Can I keep and Jade this? has seven. OK. Congratulations, Jade. Yeah. Yeah. Now then, Jade, now, can you leave them back on the table, Sorry. please? <laughs> They're not yours yet. OK. Now, Jade, you have seven games here. You have seven games. Now, do you want to <laughs> take those away? Stop putting the contestants It looks thinner on the big breakfast. Stop. <laughs> that was a few years ago, though, sweetheart. It's a few breakfasts ago. <laughs> um, you've got seven games here, Jade. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to risk all these seven games and no. go for our start no. prize? No! Yeah. Or do you want to go home with them? Because you can go home with them now. What do you want to do? What do you think? Keep it. Yeah. So let's go, Frank. Tell a question. You join us here at a very tense moment. <laughs> very tense indeed. Christopher Evans has uh, three games. Jade has seven. And she's decided that she's going to play for the killer question. Chris, are you prepared for this? Yeah. By the way, Ant, this one's for you. <laughs> Hopefully, Ant. Um, Jade, are you ready? Yep. 
Good question you got there? Yep. OK. This me. is the killer question. Go on, Jade. In The Simpsons, what is the name of Lisa's form tutor? Oh, shit! <laughs> 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 him to the limit and taken away his dignity <laughs> he's been away training while he's read a newspaper and now he's back to do battle once more with little children witness the battle of brains every Saturday morning on SMTV live the return of challenge end September 22nd it's nothing personal. Hello there and welcome to a very festive edition of the challenge and you know the rules 10 prizes 10 questions a state of the art something or other to give away at the end of it let's bring him on it's mr andrew parley <laughs> happy holidays <laughs> <laughs> hello and welcome to challenge Ant. Howard? you're looking very festive today am i uh, no, actually, you could have made an effort, couldn't you? <laughs> I'm red with a bit of lining yeah, on. I suppose you look a bit sad. More than you when you're brown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's get on with it, shall we? Shall, yes. we see, shall we see who you're up against today? Why not? Let's bring her on. It's Brooke Smith! <laughs> Thank you very much, Brooke. Thank you. And welcome to Challenge Ant. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Welcome to Challenge Ant. How are you? Fine. Good. And it's uh, a little birdie tells me it's your birthday today, isn't it? Aww. Yeah. Nine years happy old today. Birthday. Shout happy birthday, Brooke. Happy birthday! Are you having a nice birthday so far? Yeah. Well, let's see if we can't give you some more prizes to enjoy it even more. Let me tell you what we're playing for today. We're playing for the top ten games for the Dreamcast. For every question Ant gets wrong, you'll get a game at the end of the ten questions. You decide whether you want to gamble everything going so far. For this terrific state-of-the-art games console. I told you there's a state-of-the-art something or other, didn't I? <laughs> but if Ant gets your killer question correct, Brooke, you'll go home with absolutely nothing, I'm afraid. I'll, I'll have to take them off you. You, you. you understand the rules? Yeah. Do you still want to play? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Positive. You're All sure? Right, then. <laughs> I'm snatching them away from you. And now over uh -huh. to you. And just before we do play, shall, shall we say a little review of your performance over the past year? Oh, shut up. It hasn't been the best of years for you in Challenge It's been all right, hasn't it? A couple of wins in there. Uh, a I've couple. been surprised, but L I've literally, done well. Literally a couple of wins. <laughs> no, it's not. It's more, surely it's more than that. I think you've been fairly rubbish, actually, this year. But it did, hasn't you, no, everybody? I have, have I? Yeah. He's, shut he's up. been fairly rubbish. Would you agree with that, everybody here in the show? Would you agree, Miss Dealey? Shut yeah. up at all. Shut up. Yes. Right, come here. Come here. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> 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 Sit down there. Sit down there. I knew it was going to happen. Have you rubbish, have I? Yes. Right, Brooke, if you, don't, if you stand up there, right? <laughs> Brooke, come and stand with me. You go around there next to Deck. We'll see how rubbish I am. It's Brooke <laughs> versus me and you. Whoever gets the most right is the king brain of the SMTV studio. 
<laughs> Brooke, I was cheering for you earlier on, sweetheart. Are you both, are you both ready? I'm, I'm more than ready. Do I have some ear pieces out, please, you little cheaters? You ready, Brooke? Yeah. Whatever happens, we'll sort you out some prizes. Let's just let's just make these look stupid. You ready? You, you all, all three of you ready? Brooke will be on my side. Let's play today's edition of Challenge Ant <laughs> and Cat. <clears throat> Right. Question one this morning is for the number ten game. It's this, it's trick style. Come on in here, Brooke. <laughs> what is the name of the town in the Grinch? Texas. Uh... Greenland! No. One nil to Brooke! I haven't seen it! See, it's hard, isn't it? I haven't seen it! Well, that's what's happening to me every week. If they said to me, what does it feel like to be in the costume, I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> Can me and Brooke play, please? It's got it's Whoville. It's a fantasy world located in the snowflake, isn't it, Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> Question, oh, the cutest laugh. Question Stop number. Stop worming around her. <laughs> <laughs> Question two for the number nine game. Buster, Buster, move four. How many islands are there in Crash Bandicoot One? Uh, seven. No. Five. No. <laughs> Any advances on seven or four? One? Oh, shut up, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> Question I was num say that. number three is for the number eight game. South Park Rally. Who plays Bosley in the film Charlie's Angels? <laughs> oh, Bill Murray! Correct! <laughs> <laughs> so, who who plays who? Bosley. Bosley. Bill Murray. Morning, Charlie. First, first blood to cat. Uh, question number four for the number seven game. 102 Dalmatians. Puppies to the rescue. It's like when you run out of toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> In Harry Enfield, what is Kevin's surname? Patterson. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Patterson. Thanks, Mr. Patterson. Well done there. It's two to Kurt, two to Brooke, and a big fat zero. Shut one. up. Shut up. Question number five. Susie, no, Susie, everybody, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five for the number six game. Fur Fighters. What is the name of the current Spice Girls album? Spice Girls Forever. Oh! Come on! Oh. Couldn't you even get it out of your mouth? And one to one, it's all very close. Everything it's coming back. <laughs> Question number six for the number five game: Dead or Alive Two. Okay. In the board game Cluedo, mm -hmm. where does the secret passage from the ki kitchen lead to? The library. library. No. Conservatory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there you are. It's uh, three to cut, two to Brooke, one to want. Um, now me and Brooke, were, <laughs> me and Brooke were talking earlier, and we we. Uh, we're talking about our love of Cluedo, and, and Brooke tells me that uh, in Switzerland, Colonel Mustard is known as Madame Curry. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, Brooke? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Why didn't you? Brooke, you don't have to agree with him. <laughs> Question number seven for the number four game. Chicken run. In Harry Potter, from which platform does the Hogwarts Express leave? 93 quarters. Oh, hey! Yay! Yay! Harry Potter for Christmas, was it then? No, 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 I've been reading them <laughs> He's got it in his bag. I asked, him, I asked him if he'd got anything to read in rehearsals yesterday. No, I didn't. And he uh, said Harry I Potter. Had, <laughs> I had two music magazines in my bag. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You had Harry Potter. Three to Cat, two to Brooke and two to Ant. Question number eight for the number two game. It's F355 or 355. Challenge. <laughs> Whichever you'd like to prefer to say, really. <laughs> Brooke. In which American state is friend set? <laughs> Uh, it's New York. Los Angeles, LA. He's oh, got it, it's oh, New York. Come on! What's that? 3-3, three, three, is it? 3-3! Three, three. Uh, let me oh, the side. Oh, the have fallen. That mouth shut up now, hasn't it? Uh, hasn't it? 3, shut up! 3-1, three 3-1. They're three to on cut. my side. And 2 to Brooke. Question number... I'm nine. still beating the kid anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 9 for the number 2 game. Dave Mirra, freestyle BMX. Name Five's first hit single. Get on her! Slammed up the funk. Yeah! Yes! Is that four? Is, is it? Is it? Is, 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 is that four? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> she can only draw. <laughs> You're right, there you enjoy yourself. Look how happy 
Oh, you are at just I'm a draw. A bit. Oh, a just bit. a draw. He's... Aren't they being very silly? <laughs> <laughs> Question number ten for the number one game in the SMTV Christmas chart. It's who wants to be a millionaire? In EastEnders, uh, what is the name of Pauline Fowl Fowler's youngest son? Uh, Martin. Yes. <laughs> it's four four. He's also the father of Sonia's baby. Mhm. Mm and mm. bear in mind that it's four four, and you've had how many years of practice? <laughs> well, so have you standing <laughs> in the corner. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Cat's got four, Anne's got four, and Bruce got two. <laughs> Give them all a big hand. <laughs> now then, Bruce, this is where it gets interesting because you can win these eight back if you want to gamble your two. But you've got to choose which one you want to put your killer question to. Who do you think? Who do you think is the best? And who, frankly, has been letting themselves down? It's time to pick the weakest link. Why all eyes look at me? I don't know. First of all, Brooke, do you want to gamble and go for the star prize? Yeah. You definitely want to do that? Yeah? yeah. Definitely wants to gamble. Which one do you think has been letting you down? Who here is the weakest link? <laughs> who do you think? Who, who don't? Who do you? Yes, who look do at you? Me, Brooke. Who do look you want to ask a question to? Who's the thickest? Who's the thickest? Shut up, you! <laughs> who, do you who do you want to ask your question to, Brooke? Hang on a minute. Hang on What did you say, Brooke? Don't be. Oh. <laughs> I definitely, if he can't get it right, it won't count. But if he can't get it, let me have a go. Okay. 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 <laughs> right, are you ready? You ready, Brooke? It's so all resting on this. If you go for the killer question, if you get this, if Anne gets this wrong, you'll get all the games, okay? <laughs> She's gonna go for today's killer question, everybody. <laughs> Best of luck to the pair of you. Can we have today's killer question, please? Over to you. Which of the Queen's children is last in line to the throne? Edward. <laughs> Before we do all that, let me take these because these are these are now yeah, Brooks. These are going to you. They're going to Brooke there. G give me the man, please. No, no you don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, you stay where you are. <laughs> Cat? Princess Anne. It's absolutely right. Oh! <laughs> 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 Anne, So much backfired, my plan there, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, Brooke Smith goes away with all ten games, and the game's gone to a big round of applause! Do you think you could challenge Ant? Then come and have a go if you think you're smart enough. Right to, I'm not scared of that, Geordie gas bag. Challenge Ant, SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London SE1, 9GL. Come and wipe that smirk at his face. So there you are. Commiserations to yeah. congratulations to Kat. And a happy birthday to Brooke, who goes away on her ninth birthday with all of Sorry those prizes. Uh, there's Shut still up. more to come this morning. Shut up, you two. We've got S Club 7 <laughs> and Chums. We've got uh, the delightful Catherine Dealey right now, though, in the SMTV strip search. Well done, Brooke, everybody! <laughs> Welcome once again to Challenge Ant. You know the rules, I'm not going to go through them. If you don't know the rules, do try and keep up. Here he is, it's Ant McPartland. Yeah. Hello, Ant, how are you doing this week? Uh, uh, well, uh, good. Good, good, yes. good. Challenge Ant back to normal this week. No surprises. No silly surprises. You sure? No oh, skiing trips. <laughs> you better not be. Do you want to see who you're up against today? I'd love to. It's ten-year-old Winnie Amissa! Hi, Winnie. Welcome to Challenge. Jan, how are you feeling? Fine. Nervous? A bit. Don't be. And I, that's an order. <laughs> Enjoy. Are you going to beat him this morning? 
Hopefully. Yeah, do you think you can do it? Yeah. yeah. You've got some good questions there, haven't you? Yeah, she's well prepared. I think you're 3-2 down in the series. Mm. This to pull it back equal. Don't want them to stop stretching that lead, do certainly we? Certainly don't, certainly don't. What about the old earpiece for okay, me, please? OK, my man. Good luck to you, Ant. Good luck to you, <coughs> Willie. Let's play the day's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> Question number one this morning is for the number ten game. Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. What is Mr Burns' first name in The Simpsons? Um, uh, uh, Montgomery. Hi one up, one straight away. You weren't going to get that there. Bit of eh? a stutter. Bit of a stutter. Question number two for the number nine game. Chicken run. What is the name of Eminem's daughter? Um, uh, Holly. <laughs> one one. <laughs> Close. Is it Haley. 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 And it's good. And it's Tracy. That's right. December the 25th, 1995, she was born. Happy birthday for Christmas Day, Haley. Question number three, the number eight game, Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! <laughs> what do you call a female swan? Um. Oh, a signet. <laughs> no? 2 1! <laughs> I didn't know this. A pen. Eh? <laughs> Apparently. Is a, is a signet a female goose? <laughs> A baby. Baby, baby. Okay. Baby, baby. Question number four for the number seven game. Disney's dinosaur. How many years has Blind Date been on telly? Ooh! <laughs> 14 years. Oh! Three, one! <laughs> 15. Oh! Yeah, close. <laughs> Silla's, oh! been, Silla's been playing Cupid since 1985. Question number five for the number six game. Action Man, Destruction X. How many points is letter K worth in Scrabble? What? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Four. <laughs> five. Five. <sighs> Wouldn't have got that. Question number six for the number when five have I game. Have ever played Scrabble? Spiral, Year of the Dragon. How do you say please in German? Um, um, oh, oh, man! <laughs> She's tearing you apart. She is. Please, in German. I'm going to kick myself. Say it. Bitter. I've done German in school as well. I know you How did bad that. is that? Who was your German teacher? Eh? Who was your German teacher? Mr. Lamb. Well done, Mr. Lamb. Star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven for the number four game. <clears throat> Tony Hawk's Pro Skate at two. How many chance squares are there on a the Monopoly board? Chance. One. Chance squares on a Monopoly board. How many? Four. Three! Six one. Three. There's three. I've Six. been so close to everyone. You have? Yeah. This is I'm still losing. Yeah. Uh, this is a great game. Quest it's question number eight for the number three game, and it says Alex Ferguson's player manager 2001, and you get a signed football as well. Woo! By Alex Ferguson. Woo! Do you like football? Not exactly. Can I have the ball? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question, please, Winnie. In which city is Brookside set? Liverpool! Yes, give it to me anyway! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Six, six, Ooh, two, six, two. Question oh, number nine for the number two game. <laughs> Who wants to be a Muller? <laughs> How many, now that's what I call music albums, have there been? Oh. 45. <laughs> 47. <laughs> oh, shut up now! <laughs> Question number ten for the number one game in the SMTV chart today. It's FIFA 2001. Who played Coella de Vil in the live-action version of 101 Dimensions? Glenn Close. Correct! Yes! <laughs> Seven oh, points! It was Glenn Close. She'd be playing Come that part again the points. in uh, 102 Dimensions. Mm. Indeed. Uh, give her a big hand. She's walked away with seven, everybody. <laughs> now, Winnie. Seven games there, you can you can have them, you can keep them, or you can gamble them for today's star prize. Let me tell you what it is. It's this ace state-of-the-art games console. <laughs> I, just, I just removed the fluff from it. You, if you gamble those seven and then get your killer question wrong, you'll walk away with the other three and that. If you get the question right, I'll take them off you and I'll offer all ten and the star prize to the viewers. Winnie, what do you want to do? Gamble! <laughs> But it's your decision. There's a lot of prizes. There's a lot of games there. It's up to you. It's up to you. Winnie. Shut up! What do you want to do, Winnie? Mm, I'm going to gamble. She's going to gamble! She's going to gamble! Kill a question! <laughs> the 
Very, very tense moment here in the SMTV studio. Winnie has won seven of the ten. She's decided to gamble them for the star prize. Good luck, Winnie. I hope it was the right thing to do. Good luck to you. Want this to go all square in the series. Come we have today's killer question, please. In the sound of music, how many fun trap children are there? Six. <laughs> How time. many was there? there? There was seven. Oh, so close again! Again! <laughs> I was going to say seven. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> That's it for Challenge Act this week. There'll be more next week. We'll see you uh, after this break. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand and one. What is the capital of Turkey? Yeah. Um, um, Istanbul. Uh, no? It's five three. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Alex <laughs> is in fits of laughter behind the camera there. It's Ankara. Is it? Apparently. Question, I wouldn't have got that. Uh, Ankara, I'm reliably... <laughs> 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 uh, Ankara. Yeah, nice on deck. Be cool. Nobody noticed. Move on. <laughs> There's no... Welcome once again to Challenge... <laughs> Challenge Ant, you know the rules by now. Ten questions, a prize is taken, every question, the opportunity to gamble those prizes. But it's our prize! Let's meet the man! It's Mr Ant McPartlin! <laughs> Welcome once again to Challenge Ant. You came on with much your gusto and a big girly scream. <laughs> I got the giggles today. You have, haven't you? What was that scream for? I was the lamb. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good luck to you this week. Uh, the kids are 4-2 in the lead in, in the series. Uh, we don't want to get them too far in the lead, do we? No. Nah. Are you going to change that today? Yes. Yes. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Let's meet your contender this morning. It's 10-year-old Vincenzo De Trollio! <laughs> Vincenzo and welcome to Challenge Ann. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. I must say, I must comment on how remarkably cool and collected you are looking this morning. <laughs> Do you feel calm and collected? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think you're going to uh, beat Ant this morning? Yeah. I can see that in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Either that or he's hot asleep. <laughs> <laughs> can oh, I have a copy of your questions, mm. please, Vincenzo? Thanks very much. Let me tell you what we're playing for this morning. It's the top ten DVD films in the SMTV chart. Vincenzo, for every question that an answers incorrectly, you'll get a DVD. At the end of the ten questions, you can decide whether you want to gamble everything you've won so far on today's star prize, which is this fantastic <laughs> state-of-the-art <laughs> DVD player to play those very films on. But I have to remind you, Vince, if Ant gets your killer question correct, I'll have to take whatever you've won off you, you will go home with nothing, and I will offer those prizes to the viewers at home. Do you still want to play Challenge Ant? Yeah. I can tell you, dude. Yeah, ice cool, cooler than ice. Uh, uh, I like it. Um, <laughs> um, Ant, uh -huh. are you, do you still want to play Seeing Who You're Up Against now? Yes. Good stuff. That's, that's, that's really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Whip out the old earpiece for okay. me, please. Let's get ready to play today's edition of Challenge Ant. Question number one this morning is for the number 10 DVD in the SMTV chart. It's this, it's Manchester United Beyond the Promised Land. In Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who trains Buffy? Um, Donald Sutherland. <laughs> one nil <clears throat> to Vince. It's actually Ru Ru Rupert Giles, who allegedly was fired by the Council of Watchers for falling in love with Buffy. Ooh, something you shouldn't do there. You shouldn't, but hey, who can help it? Question number two for the number nine game is Chicken Run. In The Simpsons, what is Chief Wiggins' son called? Ralph. Yes! <laughs> oh, no. When will these children ever learn The Simpsons it's is a, out of bounds? It's a customary, let's give Ant one and win the rest, man. 
I see. <laughs> Let's give him a Simpsons question. <laughs> question number three for the number eight DVD. It's the man with the golden gun. In Digimon, what is Mimi's crest? <laughs> <laughs> a flower. <laughs> Two one. Did you one? Two one. And in fact, Ant, I'll, I'll take that offence, and if you can name us any of the crests, I'll give you it. <laughs> now, two a one. Swirl, a swirl. No, Holy uh, swirl. Did you want Mimi's crest is sincerity. Mimi is spoiled and ditzy and wears outrageous clothes. The <sighs> stupid. Don't we all? Did you want head? <laughs> Question number four is for the number seven DVD. It's Stuart Little. In the Harry Potter books, what is Harry's head master called? Oh, um, Professor. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> three, three, one. Three, one. Um, and ask could uh, we hold on there? Is it possible? Has everybody got time to hold on? So <laughs> he thinks of this answer. No, shut up. What is it? Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Oh, thousands of Harry Potter fans screaming at home at you. Question number five for the number six DVD: The Spy Who Loved Me. What is the name of the man who created Spider-Man? Uh, Stanley. Oh, correct. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's got a reaction, didn't it? You did, a very big reaction. Real name, Stanley Lieber. Change your surname to Lee later on. A fountain of knowledge. Question <laughs> number six. <laughs> For the number five DVD. It's the Tigger movie. What is Cisco's new single called? Ah! Uh, 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 incomplete. Yes! Oh! Oh! From his uh, <laughs> debut solo album, Tyler? Unleash the Dragon. Well done. I don't know, you really want to unleash the Dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say sing it for us. Okay. I said, what is the title? Question number seven for the number four DVD. <laughs> In X Men the movie. <laughs> D uh, sorry. What? Sorry, sorry, Vince. Ants being a bit, little bit childish over there. <laughs> question, question number seven for the number four DVD. Tarzan, off you go, Vince. In X Men the movie, what is Wolverine's first name? Um, uh, I haven't seen it. Stop in the dark. Max. <laughs> Four three. Four three. Max. No, it's uh, Logan. Logan. Played by Hugh Jackman. I'm hot, my dear. <laughs> Question number eight for the number three. The thing is, everyone can see you read them go. Played by. <laughs> I, I just think of these things, ladies and gents. The number three DVD is Fantasia 2000. What is the biggest planet in the solar system? Uh, Jupiter. Come on! Come on! Come on! You didn't. Where's it coming from? You didn't. Uh, I don't know myself. You didn't hear the shriek of disbelief in, that went on. Jupiter. Jupiter. Question number nine is for the number two DVD, Toy Story. How many football teams are there in the Premiership? Twenty. Oh! Come on! I forgot what this felt like. It's <laughs> good. Now I've just it again. Five, four, I want it more. Five, four. Can I make it six, four? Or will, will uh, Vince pull it back to five, five? It all relies on question ten for the number one DVD. Toy Story 2. In One Foot in the Grave, what is the name of Victor Meldrew's wife? Um. Oh, I like it and all. <laughs> um. Oh, well, I like it. I can't think. Five, five! <laughs> oh, can't think. Margaret. Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> Played by um, Annette Crosby. Oh, God. you shut up. I know it all, I know it all. <laughs> so at the end of the ten questions, it's five all. Give them both a big hand. <laughs> Welcome, Vince. Five DVDs there. Good, some good ones as well. You can have them, you can take them home. They're yours to keep if you want them. Or you can gamble them, go for the other five and the DVD player. Must remind you, if Ant gets your killer question right, you'll go home with nothing and I'll have to give it all to the viewers. What do you think you should do, everybody? Gamble! They all say rather predictably, Vince, that they think you should gamble, but it's your decision. You're the one who's putting your prizes on the line. What do you want to do? I'm going to gamble. He's going to gamble! He's going to go for the killer question. <laughs> you join us at a very tense moment here in the SMTV studio. Uh, Vince has won five of the ten DVDs. He's decided to gamble them, go for the other five, and the DVD player. Good luck, Vince. I hope it was the right thing to do. You're still looking very cool and calm and collected. Uh, if I was a betting man, I'd put all my money on you. And <laughs> over to you, though. What? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just making it up as I go along. And 4-2 in the series, this to pull back. 4-3.
Best of luck Need to this you. one. Best of luck to the pair Cheers. of you. It's five all. This is the decider. Come we have the days. Killer question, please. Which football team knocked out Argentina in the quarterfinals of the 1998 World Cup? Brazil. Well, now we have a Then come and have a go if you think you're smart enough. Right to, I'm not scared of that, Geordie gas bag. Challenge Ant, SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London SE1, 9GL. Come and wipe that smirk up his face. Congratulations, not the are all ten on the DVD player, but Ant, you don't look happy, my man. It's not the smirk today. You lost on a football question. That's, that's almost unheard of here in Challenge Ant. Who was it? Holland. Holland. They lost 2-1. Bergkamp scored in the last minute. Remember, he took it over, the ball came over, just yeah, controlled it, bang. Last minute. I don't. Sick as a parrot, ladies and gentlemen. Sick as a parrot. It's a game of two halves and won, but lost both of them. Uh, there'll be more uh, challenge and next week. Still